Hey everyone, welcome back to the podcast. Today is Wednesday and this is a midweek check-in. I hope you guys are having a great week thus far and hopefully this video can motivate you guys to have a great end into the week, going into the weekend. And today I want to talk to those who feel stuck, you know, those who feel like they're just going through the motions with their life and those who feel as though they don't know what's next. You know, first I want to say, Don't miss out on your blessings trying to look into the future. You know what I'm saying? What you have right now and where you at right now is a blessing. You know, you once prayed to be where you at today. You know, you once prayed to to have this job. You once prayed to, you know, be with this person and have this car and have X, Y, Z. And now that is getting tough. You know, now that. You know, you got to put in that work and that grind and, you know, you got to, you know, bear all that pain that come with it. You feel like it's the end of the world. You know, but you once prayed to be here, you know, but you got to sit back and reflect and appreciate, you know, where you at so that you can go to that next level. You know, we all find ourselves, you know, not knowing what's next, you know, which is is really hard, you know, because it could get the best of you at times. and. You know, I've been a victim of it, you know, but in fact, live day by day, you know, so that you can compare, so that you can prepare for tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? And if somebody told you that in two months, you will be successful, you know, in two months, you will be where you want to be in life. You'll have, you know, all the money, the cars, the houses, you know, whatever it is you want, you know, that defines success for you. If somebody told you that in two months you will have all that, what would be the reason to believe in something greater than yourself? You know, what would be the reason to to seek God? What would be the reason to pray? You know, what would be the reason to manifest? You know, if somebody told you the exact steps that's next, you know what I'm saying? And that's why we don't have all the answers. You know, God wants us to come to him. You know, God wants that glory. You know, God wants us to learn the necessary lessons and that's why nothing happened fast. You know, that's why nothing happens overnight. That's why you got to put the work in. That's why you go, got to go through the trials, the tribulation, the pain, because, you know, if you knew it all, then it won't be no purpose to serve a God, to believe in something greater than yourself. You know, for those who feel like God is silent right now, you know, it's, and, and, and you've been asking for signs, you've been asking for vision, you know, you've been asking for, you know, God, show me. You know what I'm saying? And it seems like he's not answering, but you beating yourself up, but you got to have faith. You got to know that the reason he may not be answering is because he's putting his work, his time into everything that you prayed for. You know, he's not answering because he's sending out his angels. He's, he's putting people in position, you know, for everything you prayed for so that when you come to these trials and these tribulations, you can get through it. Psalms 34, 19 says, the righteous will be afflicted, but I will get you through it. He know your pain. He know your suffering. In fact, he feel all of that just as you feel it. But you got to know that he got to do the work too. You know, he's not going to always be there when you want him, but he's always on time. I thank you guys for listening, for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. I thank you guys, man.